Hi, Todd here, Product Manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems. Let's take a quick look at some nice new user experience enhancements in SolidWorks 2014, specifically the plain normal direction and how it can be controlled now. And along the way, we're going to take a look at how dependent features are handled when you need to delete something. So in the spirit of winter, our product today is a snowboard binding. And we're going to specifically focus on this uh, adjustment disc and these little uh, complex cosmetic features for branding and uh, indication on, on the top of the disc here. Okay, so first of all, let's say there's a situation where I need to get rid of this plane and create a new sketch plane to put some of these features on. Okay, no problem. I'm just going to delete that. But you'll notice now that the features that depend on that plane, it's now an option if I want to delete them or not. Previously, if you deleted something that a downstream feature depended on, that feature was going to go too. You just didn't have any control over it and you're going to have to recreate it. Now you have an option. Okay, So if I don't want to delete those, that's fine. Yes, it will be broken because it's losing its reference, but now all I have to do is fix the reference as opposed to recreating the feature from scratch. So big time saver there. And now let's do what we say we're going to do. We're going to create a new, before we fix that, might as well create the new plane and reattach it to that. Okay, so I'm going to offset a plane from the bottom here. And let's see, go 9.2 up in that direction. Okay, great. So I've got this new offset plane that I want to put these uh, sketches on. Okay, no problem. I can just go there. Yep, I'm missing the plane and I'll just place it on the new one. Oh. Okay, hopefully you notice what happened there. My logo got reversed. Okay, the reason for that is because the sketch got reversed. And the reason for that is because the direction of the plane is pointing in the wrong way, not the way I need. Okay, previously we didn't even have any control over that. You created a plane, it was pointed in whichever way the system wanted it to point, and then you had to put your sketch on there. You may have to reverse it, rotate it. Well now it's as easy as this. I like to show it this way just because it looks like magic. Right to a plane now, you'll see with your context menu, you can flip the normal of a plane. And just like that, my model's fixed. So it's a beautiful time saver. And to get a little bit deeper on it now, we can see where when you now create a plane, I skipped over it, uh, but you now have the control down here in the options to flip the normal. And the normal is this blue arrow. Okay, so now it clearly shows you which direction the front or the normal direction of the plane is, and as well as being able to flip that back and forth. It's all up to you. And then once that's created, if you want to change your mind, again, it's just a right click on the plane to flip normal or my preferred method right on the plane itself. And now you can see I can flip it back and forth without having to go into that sketch, which as you can see, would not be pleasant, especially something very complex like this. It would not be fun to try to have to reverse this or flip this depending on the relations in the sketch. So look for that now as you're creating planes. Give it an extra look and make sure it's going to be pointing in the direction you want. And now you can flip those planes in any either direction you want to save your features without having to rebuild and uh, resketch uh, things. So look for that in 2014. Flip plane normal.